This is an Eyewitness News webcast. Hi, I'm Kelly Byrne with your Eyewitness News webcast. It is Thursday, April 25th, and let's get a check of your forecast with meteorologist Stefano DiPietro. What should we expect today, Stefano? Well, starting off with plenty of sunshine, Kelly, but that cloud cover makes a comeback later in the day today as it does so. We're going to watch for a shower, but not until later on. Lunch hour looks pretty good. Some clouds and some sunshine. Watch what happens later into this afternoon and this evening. That cloud cover really starts to increase, and you can see future casts trying to break in that rain shower as well. Through the rest of tonight, more showers come in. Those last through tomorrow, but we find plenty of dry time today. 66 for the high, increasing clouds, a late shower. It's not as windy as what we had through yesterday. 52 tonight, 62 tomorrow, scattered showers, even a thunderstorm late tomorrow. By Saturday, we're dry, it's windy at 58, Kelly. Stefano, thank you. Police are looking for a man with a weapon who stole a puppy from a local pet store. The bizarre scene played out Wednesday afternoon at Tropic Pet Center along South Main Street in Wilkesbury. According to investigators, a man walked into the shop, showed a weapon, and then took a Rottweiler puppy. Authorities are looking for a man, and police say he has a tattoo on the lower left part of his neck and on both forearms. Anyone with information should contact the Wilkesbury Police Department. A Toby Hanna woman is behind bars this morning, charged with trying to kill her boyfriend. Police say 19-year-old Khadijah Jackson tried to run over her boyfriend and at least two other people with her car. It happened early Wednesday morning at the Exxon gas station on Route 611 near Swiftwater. Investigators say she got into an argument with her boyfriend before getting in the car and then nearly hitting him. She then drove the car into a crowd of people watching, almost hitting two other people. She took off on Route 611 but was later arrested. Well, those are today's top headlines. Have a great Thursday.